Now, speaking of Carbon X, I did want to talk about that because a lot of people have asked me, hey, can Carbon X burn the lawn? Is there an issue with it? And I want to go into the whole idea of burning the lawn in general, but the first thing I wanted to talk about is what makes Carbon X special because as you guys know, Matt Martin, he, he, he does not oversell his products. He tends to undersell them so that way they can over deliver. And I totally respect that. And, and I think that's a good way to go. And I try to follow that type of a mantra as well. However, now that I've been using Carbon X, I can tell you some things about it that I'm seeing and some things that I like about it. And the first thing is, is what is special about it? So here's what I think special about it. And I learned this just when those guys were here a couple weeks ago and I was talking a little bit more to them, you know, hearing things or reading things, you know, on podcasts or, or reading things online, it's not the same as when you actually can talk to somebody and ask them questions in real time. And it didn't click for me until then, until I was able to talk to Matt and John in person to understand a little bit more about how Carbon X works. So the first thing is, is the biochar. That's really the base of the product. And that's what those black pellets are that you'll see when you get it. Let me explain what that is. So biochar is a byproduct of the biodiesel industry. When they're done doing whatever they got to do to create biodiesel, they end up with biochar. You could think of biochar as similar to charcoal. It's not because it has a different property, but that's basically what it is. It's spent organic material that is now extremely porous and extremely absorbent. Those are the two main things. And it also makes good structure in soil. So it can be used for something. And of course, biochar has been used for years in gardening, especially in organic gardening or in, uh, or in permaculture. They've been using biochar quite a bit because it does have some really interesting and fun properties and good properties. It serves as condominiums for microbes. Roots can get in there, all kinds of stuff. But that's not really what makes Carbon X so special. It is because we want that in our soil. But here's the, the second piece. It is literally chicken poop charged biochar. So, so check this out. So there's a lot of chicken houses, I guess, throughout Kentucky. And, and, and one of the things that, they, that happens in a chicken house is you have, I don't know how many chickens are in a chicken house, but I've watched, actually speaking of a millennial farmer, I've watched his channel where he went to a chicken farm. And there are literally hundreds of chickens in these chicken houses. And there are so many chickens in there that the air can get very, f f there can be a lot of fumes in the air, I guess is the way to say it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure they're ammonia fumes and that comes from their waste. So just think about this. It's pretty logical, right? If you have hundreds of chickens or animals of any type, but chickens peeing and pooping in the same spot in an enclosed area, even if you have it ventilated, that's going to create some fumes. And that is definitely not healthy for the humans that need to work in there. It's probably not real healthy for the chickens either. One thing that I do know that it does to the chickens is as they walk on top of all of this litter, even if they're suspended above it, those fumes can actually do things to their feet. And, you know, chickens, as they're slaughtered, part of the chicken industry is, is that the feet are sold as a delicacy to certain countries, as well as though I think, you know, those conditions, those fumy conditions, they probably can affect the output or the size of the chicken or whatever. But either way, if you want to be humane, you don't want your chickens breathing in their own poop and pee fumes, right? And you also want the humans that go in to care for those chickens to also not have to breathe in that stuff. So what they discovered is if they put this biochar underneath the chicken house, what the biochar does, because it's so porous and so absorbent, is it sucks all of that fumes or a good majority of that fumes out of the air. And this is where I said it's related to charcoal, because you guys all know about a charcoal filter, or if you have a really bad hangover, you can take charcoal caplets to suck up all the toxins in your blood. I mean, charcoal has been used as a filter for a long, long, long time to purify water and things like that. So biochar, which is even better at that, which is even more porous, which is even more absorbent, will suck all those fumes out of the air. Plus the, po the, the chickens are pooping and peeing on it anyway, so it absorbs all the physical matter. And then what they do is when that biochar is charged, right, and it needs to be replaced, they take it out. And this is where the magic of carbon earth has come in. They have learned how to turn that into a prill that you can now spread on your lawn. And when you spread it on your lawn, all of that goodness that that biochar has sucked up is in there. And by the way, chicken poop is full of micronutrients. Everybody knows for years that chicken compost has been excellent for gardens and lawns. It's just had this super odorous smell, obviously, because it's poop. The other thing about the biochar is it doesn't kill the smell all the way because definitely if you have Carbon X, it smells like success. I tell people it smells like vomited up gas station tacos, but that's not as bad as poop. So it has some smell of success, but not that much because the biochar holds that in. Now, when you spread that across your lawn, 
what it does is it slowly releases those nutrients. And I believe that's why my lawn, my zoysia, and even my St. Augustine is holding its color so long. I believe that's the biochar releasing very, very slowly because this is organic material that's in that biochar. So the microbes are getting inside of there and they're breaking that down and they're releasing that back out into the soil slowly over time. The thing about that is the hunks of biochar, and they are hunks, you know, they're circles of biochar or whatever they are, they stay in the soil as well. And that then allows a symbiotic relationship between microbes and then grass roots will grow into those areas as well as the nutrients that are there. And the biochar will continue helping this exchange between roots, microbes, and other soil organisms. So that is the thing that is really smart and really brilliant about Carbon X is that exact piece of that puzzle. It's those black prills that are that biochar that's infused with the chicken poop that is loaded with nutrients. So now, of course, Matt does add some synthetic nitrogen to it. That's because we want to boost the nitrogen. We want to give you a faster green up and some good results. But again, it's that biochar infused that just keeps things going. That's also why you'll find some iron in there and some other micronutrients and things that aren't even claimed on the bag. They are in that chicken poop infused biochar. So all of that to say, though, you are not going to burn your lawn with Carbon X. I mean, yes, if you spill it, it'll probably burn. If you spill Milo, I can show you that it will also kill a spot in your lawn, as well as it will stink real bad. But for the most part, putting down Carbon X, even if you put it down too heavy, it's just going to be wasteful, and I promise you your lawn is going to grow really fast, but you're not going to burn it. There's 